a wise man makes his own decision but ignorant men go for public opinion today the medibus tv camera crew is sitting at the premises of a wise company called gulf truck and i am in conversation with their managing director mr siadal mosa hello and welcome to the show hi how are you well mr siad the making life better is the tagline of gulf truck your company yes tell us something about gulf truck uh tell you something about gulf truck well gulf truck has been in the uae operating in the healthcare field since uh, 1969 so mm-hmm. i think we're coming to 45 years it's a family owned and managed business um we uh, our motto is uh, making life better mm-hmm. Um, and we feel that uh, due to our obligations to the society of being interested of providing healthcare services and products so by doing a good job we contribute to improving the quality of life mm-hmm. so uh, we feel that uh, we are very lucky to have uh, received this responsibility and we are very lucky that we are able to provide here in the UAE and we deal in various fields from equipment to disposables to pharmaceutical to maintaining hospitals so uh and we have a very wide wide diver- diverse uh, diversified portfolio of products and services here in the UAE well uh, uh, we would like to know a falcon's eye view uh, in depth uh, informations about the different portfolios the, uh, that uh, gulf truck has yeah. so if you could highlight us on the various portfolios of gulf truck and we'd like to know more about yourself gulf truck has a very diversified healthcare portfolio of products and services i would say it's one of the most diversified here in the uae mm-hmm. from the product and the services issue associated with the product side mm-hmm. um uh, we have pharmaceutical we do major importation distribution and promotion of the pharmaceutical goods world class manufacturers we do consumer healthcare products which go to supermarkets to pharmacies all over the uae uh we do medical disposables which are present in every hospital every clinic here in the uae as well pharmacies mm-hmm. uh we do capital equipment with many sub branches which uh, very few companies can be good at uh whereas we do hospital maintenance for all their equipment medical equipment as well as a full supply of uh, of hospital equipment turnkey project uh, solutions uh, one of the specialized services we do is referral lab services where we collect the blood samples or lab samples and send it to germany to europe for analysis um we've done mobile hospitals here in the uae mm-hmm. um so these are some specialty services still in addition to our core field um and uh, and these are uh, still very growing uh, segments here in the market and important segments considering um the requirements that uh, are increasing continuously for quality here bit about myself uh, i'm a pharmacist by education i studied marketing thereafter and i've been managing this company since 96 mm-hmm. um and we are about 500 people here at gulf truck establishment and uh, and we are a diversified healthcare group we do home healthcare services as home healthcare product uh, retailing uh, through one of our arms arabian home healthcare uh, we have branches in uh, qatar and saudi arabia and uh, we still operate our own medical center which was the base of gulf truck establishment since uh, my late father he was a physician mm-hmm. by uh, by profession and he practiced it even while he managed gulf truck establishment so we've maintained it and uh, it still has its uh, its place in the society i'm proud of it well innovation change flexibility and partnership is some of the key words which i saw at the en- entry of your premises and when we are talking about innovation it was clearly written continuous innovation how do you substantiate your statement and your take on that in regards to uh, the innovation statement you've seen outside um our philosophy here in gulf truck the way we work the way we uh, uh we believe we should uh, perform uh, it's based on continuously improving what what we do mm-hmm. be it a function inside the back office be it a function um in front of the customer be it uh, in the processes be it in 
simplification of procedures. So uh, continuous improvement has been a, a benchmark for us, which we, we followed from the beginning and we continuously do. Um, and this goes on every aspect when it comes to IT, providing more IT solutions to ourselves, for our staff to improve their performance to a customer, or when it comes to providing uh, additional uh, tools for our people to improve mm -hmm. their communication, their service to their customer. So continuous improvement is, is uh, uh, I would say, it's part of uh, our internal philosophy. And uh, it's also the philosophy we see here happening everywhere in the UAE. If you do not improve, if you do not look forward, you, you cannot uh, keep up with the demands put to you on your cust by your customers. So it is very specific uh, by saying that continuous innovation and improvement. It's a must here it. now. It's a must. It's a must here in the UAE. Uh, we have a very developed society. We have a uh, sophisticated customer. We have a a developed and developing healthcare system and uh, innovation is the benchmark of, uh, of medical uh, quality, mm -hmm. be it as a device, be it as a pharmaceutical product, be it as what, how a physician deals with a patient. So as part of this, this cycle, I would say, in taking care of the patient, everybody has to do his part. There is no place here in, uh, as far as I see it, uh, for companies who do not continuously innovate. There's no shortcuts. There's no shortcuts, not anymore, that's for one thing. Well, uh, four and a half decades of existence, of improvement, of expansions, it is not a joke because you are dealing with human beings, it's not products, and it's absolutely difficult to build the trust of people. So you have done that uh, successfully. So. What is your success mantra or what is the unique selling proposition? Is it the quality people you have? Is it the quality product you have or what you have and what have you delivered? This is what we'd like to know. Our mantra is basically, uh, I would say it's called commitment. Commitment to, to our people, uh, commitment to our customers, mm -hmm. uh, commitment to the profession you're part of. Mm -hmm. um, especially when it comes in the medical um, community, um, healthcare community, you're dealing with patients, um, everybody's relying on each other. You have the patient relying on the physician to make a good decision. The physician is relying on, on, the, on the device, on the pharmaceutical, that it's doing what it's supposed to do. Mm -hmm. So um, it's basically a commitment that everybody feels it is part of his obligations, not optional. It's mm -hmm. something he has to do uh, to come through for the physician, for the nurse, for the pharmacist, uh, for the objective of the patient's mm -hmm. um, health um, and their quality of life. So I would say the core issue is commitment, to have people who are committed, who, to, for the people in the company to see that the company is committed to the same objectives of quality care and for the customers to see that. Um, and once you you, you are clearly committed in regards to what you want to do. The, the customers see that. And this commitment builds trust, it builds confidence. And this is something which you, you, you value as a company and you appreciate very much because the relationship goes far beyond I'm giving you a box or whatever. It's like we're together here and we have one objective is to provide the service and the product for the patient. So um, I would say this is, this is the, the, the core mantra that, uh, that, that we go by and what we feel is uh, what makes us even tick as a company that we're happy that we're doing this in this industry. And you have uh, mentioned earlier that you have around 500 employees. So they are from different nationalities or how yeah, is it? Yeah, it's uh, very diverse. You okay. have the Indian, you have the Pakistani. You have the European, you have the Lebanese, Palestinian, Syrian, Egyptian. Um, this is the standard diverse workforce we have in the UAE, which is actually an asset for any company in the UAE, operating in the UAE, that you have the ability to choose um, people based on their capabilities mm -hmm. from wherever they are, and they all add value. value. Everybody adds value. 
So you have your corporate headquarters in the UAE? Yes, we have headquarters in the UAE, branch in Abu Dhabi, and uh, warehouses in Dubai and Abu Dhabi as well. Yeah. And um, uh, where do you see your company five years from now? You've, you've been in the market for four and a half decades, uh, well and good. But now five years from now, where do you see your company? Five years is a short time. <laughs> um, I would say five years or ten years from now, we see ourselves that uh, we have even improved on the quality of service mm -hmm. we're providing to our our clients, our yes, customers, yes. our patients. So uh -huh. that's uh, one thing we see ourselves that we're even better in five years from now. Uh, we see that we've expanded in the product portfolio offerings we can offer to our customers um, where they can rely on us even on more products, on more services. Mm -hmm. uh, we see ourselves that uh, in regards to the services part that uh, we've elevated ourselves in in providing even a more improved after-sales service and improved pre-sales service. Um, and we'll have improved our uh, customer interaction to a very big extent. Yeah, there, there are several challenges that the healthcare industry is facing. And what, according to you, is one uh, important challenge that you think or one challenge that you can curb or what you foresee in the health in the healthcare industry? Yes, there are many challenges in the healthcare industry. And you have to prioritize uh, them at the end of the day. But uh, in regards to what I see, the major challenges, uh, as we see it, okay, from our perspective here as Gulf Drug, uh, dealing with hospitals, with pharmacies, with clinics, with physicians, I would say one of the major challenges is keeping up with the pace of society mm -hmm. uh, in the most balanced and, uh, and a sustainable way. Mm -hmm. um, the healthcare... Um, system has gone through major um, advances and developments over the last 10, 14 years here in the UAE. Okay. Um, more than the last 15, 20 years before that, um, the population increase, um, the development of the policies um, to be able to keep up with providing the healthcare infrastructure and the quality for the patients will be the biggest challenge here, is we have an increased population. The population is uh, more educated, is more aware of their healthcare. So their demands are higher. So you have more requirement for infrastructure to, to be able to provide the care. And the increased demand on the quality of care because the customer is demanding it. Mm -hmm. Um, and this is, I think, the challenge on all governmental and private healthcare institutions to to keep uh, to keep up the pace. They've done a great job in the last uh, 14 years. We've seen a dramatic increase in uh, um, in the requirements of our customers for us to be um, better as a service provider. Mm -hmm. We've seen a dramatic increase um, from, uh, from the patients in regards that, that they really appreciate and they understand the importance for quality care. Quality care. And be it as a product, be it as a disposable, be it as a nurse, be it as a pharmacist, be it as a government official who is dealing with implementing policies. So. Uh, increased infrastructure, increased numbers, increased care. That's a hard formula for anybody to do continuously right and sustainable. And the UAE has uh, taken very good steps over the last 10, 14 years in really uh, setting up uh, uh, a good base and building already on it. So we're very fortunate that uh, things uh, um, have developed in such a great way. The healthcare industry is a different industry as a whole yeah. because you should be very cautious when you're reading a medical book because yeah. a misprint can mislead you. True, <laughs> so, true. Yes. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very cautious industry. Yeah. Well, we have a very weird situation where uh, in this part of the world, uh, uh, people walk miles to digest food. While if you look into the other part of the world, people walk miles to get food. As a result, what happens here is 
there's a lot of obesity problems, um, diabetes or hypertension and so on. So, um, uh, Gulf drug as a whole being in the industry for four and a half decades, uh, you would definitely have something to say on behalf of this. So, uh, what is your take on this and what is your, uh, you know, uh, message to people uh, in this part of the world uh, to the so-called take care of your health? Well, I would take regarding the, I will call it the socio-economic diseases that <laughs> are increasing in this society is that we're just following all the other developed societies who have developed their services, their, the, the, everything, you know, home delivery, uh, fast food, oily food, and everybody being busy. So yes, uh, obesity and diabetes is one of the um, the major uh, diseases which are increasing in this in this region. Yes, um, we uh, we as Gulf Track, of course, at the end of the day, all these disease categories when it gets escalated and it affects your your organs, be it the heart, the kidney, the liver, um, uh, your 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 uh, your bone structure. Um, you know, this is something you, we feel everybody has to work hard to to get a grip of. Mm -hmm. you, you can't eliminate it. Yes. Uh, unless you eliminate sugary foods or suddenly we change the weather, which is not going to happen here. Mm -hmm. um, I, I believe that it starts in the home. Yes. Um, it's the parents who are able to uh, guide the children on the healthy living styles, mm -hmm. uh, which is also happening in the advanced economies now. Yes. Um, and then the school, yes, where the schools also uh, create a good environment for the children to be aware of how to, to be active, how to think healthy, how to live healthy. And uh, last is a society. But I think the core starts at the family and the school level. Yeah. when the kids are young um, and uh, later on when they get older you want to create a society where it supports that, mm -hmm. that they live healthy. And here <clears throat> we have the op opportunities everywhere. Yes. Uh, before there were not that many clubs, there were no fitness centers, there were no, not that many pools. So here the options are all available. Mm -hmm. It's just a question of motivating and uh, and supporting uh, healthy activities. That's uh, my take on it. Well, you are sitting in the managing director's chair. It's a hot chair, a responsible chair. 500 employees, uh, service, you know, service to society, service to mankind, dealing with the drug industry yeah. or uh, the medical industry, or rather the healthcare industry. So how do you communicate? How do you transport yourself between your professional life and your personal life? And how many hours of sleep do you uh, do you undergo every day? Well, uh, regarding the sleep, I have normal sleep between okay. six and eight hours. Um, I think nobody can uh, have the cake and eat it 100%. Mm -hmm. But um, I would say that um, we are in an industry that once you've, you've done your job well and you have good people, uh, then it's not the type of uh, job where you're on a hot seat. Mm -hmm where you're stressed out and you have to be worried or this. Once you, when you, when you have good people and you have good systems and uh, you know that your customers are happy with your service, mm -hmm. uh, you don't work in a stressful environment. You work in a focused environment. Okay. So I would say it's, it's balanced. Family life and work-wise, uh, give everybody their time. Um, and uh, get a good sleep, that's for sure, and eat healthy. Well, uh, in management terms, you call it delivering the goods, is it not? So, uh, if someone approaches Gulf Truck, be it a customer or somebody w would like to have a bilateral business relationship or so, something of that sort, it could be your, um, it could be uh, in any matter, in any, yeah. in any portfolio or in any respects. What have you got to say as the managing director of Gulf Truck to those people who would like to approach you? Okay, what I would uh, tell to those people is first of all, welcome. And uh, basically, we're at your service. And maybe one of the first things is that we're going to be very transparent, uh, very honest, very direct. And uh, yes, everybody says we have the best quality in this. And we, we say 
you will see our quality at the end of the day. Yeah. Um, we have very good brand names and we have good people. Now, um, and we have good systems in place to, to, bring, to bring the people to what they want as a quality product and a quality service. So one of the few things we have as Gulf Trek is we have a lot of solutions. Um, total solutions, be it somebody who wants to set up a clinic, somebody wants to build a hospital, somebody wants to make a lab, uh, somebody has an idea, mm -hmm. you want to start to do something um, and you're looking for, some, for, the, for the expert. Uh, yes, I would say you're in the right address. That's what I would say. And, uh, and then uh, and their experience would, uh, would, prove, uh, would prove it that they came to the right place. Thank you for your time. It was a Thank pleasure you speaking very much. to you. Same and maybe here. next time when we come to meet you, you would have a thousand employees with more yeah. branches and uh, better and happier employees Thank always. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.